Hi friends, welcome to my video. In this video, we are going to see what are protoplasts and spiroplasts. When cell wall synthesis becomes defective, either spontaneously or as a result of drugs like penicillin, bacteria lose their distinctive shape. Such cells are called protoplasts, spiroplasts or L-forms. In this video, we are going to say what are protoplasts and spiroplasts and also the difference between protoplasts and spiroplasts. At first, we are going to say about the bacterial cell envelope. For bacteria, the shape determining part of the cell wall is largely peptidoglycan, an insoluble, porous, cross-linked polymer of enormous strength and rigidity. Gram-positive bacteria usually have a much greater amount of peptidoglycan in their cell walls than the gram-negative bacteria. The walls of gram-negative bacteria are more complex than those of gram-positive bacteria. The most important difference is the presence of an outer membrane that surrounds a thin underlying layer of peptidoglycan. We learned the very important difference between gram-positive and gram-negative bacterial cell envelope. Without this, we can't understand the difference between the protoplast and spiroplast. Next, we are going to see the definition of protoplast. Protoplasts are produced from gram-positive bacteria. A protoplast is that portion of a bacterial cell consisting of the cytoplasmic membrane and the cell material bounded by it. Protoplasts can be prepared from gram-positive bacteria by treating the cells with an enzyme such as lysozyme which selectively dissolves the cell wall or by culturing the bacteria in the presence of an antibiotic such as penicillin which prevents the formation of the cell wall. In either case, the osmotic pressure of the medium must be sufficiently high to protect the organisms from bursting. Osmotically protected protoplasts are soft and fragile and are spherical regardless of the original shape of the cell. Up to this, we learnt what are protoplasts. Next, we are going to see what are spiroplasts. Spiroplasts are produced from gram-negative bacteria. The spherical cell wall lacking bacterial cells with an outer membrane and a plasma membrane are called spiroplasts. Spiroplasts can be prepared from gram-negative bacteria by treating the cells with an enzyme such as lysozyme which selectively dissolves the cell wall or by culturing the bacteria in the presence of an antibiotic such as penicillin which prevents the formation of the cell wall. We have already seen that the cell walls of gram-negative bacteria differ from those of gram-positive bacteria by possessing an outer membrane. Although the peptidoglycan of the cell wall may be destroyed by lysozyme or its synthesis inhibited by antibiotics, the flexible outer membrane of the cell wall remains because the treated cell has two membranes, the cytoplasmic membrane of the protoplast plus the outer membrane of the cell wall. The cell is called a spiroplast rather than a protoplast. Next, we are going to see the difference between protoplasts and spiroplasts. Protoplasts are produced from gram-positive bacteria. Spiroplasts are produced from gram-negative bacteria. Spherical cell wall lagging bacterial cells with a plasma membrane are called protoplasts. Spherical 
cell wall lagging bacterial cells with a plasma membrane and an outer membrane or called spiroplasts. Finally, we are going to see the medical importance of protoplasts and spiroplasts. Cell wall deficient forms may not initiate disease but may be important in bacterial persistence during antibiotic therapy and subsequent recurrence of the infection. I am concluding this video here and see you soon in my next video. Thank you friends.